Hello everyone, uh, I'm trying. I'm going to try something new today. I call this Nuzbent, a play on Nuzlocke plus Highbent. So we're going to be reading Act 5, and I've got this list of names here with all the lovely people in chat. Everyone say hi. Hello! Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> hey there! <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever a new character has dialogue, um, I'm going to roll from this wheel to, to see who's going to voice them, and that includes the narrator, who this time is Pineapple. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> this young troll stands in his respite block. It just so happens that today, the 12th bilunar perigree of the 6th dark season's equinox, is the day of this young troll's larval awakening, also known as his wriggling day. Though it was six solar sweeps ago he was given life, it is only today he will be given a name. Six Altonian solar sweeps, for convenient reference, is equivalent to 13 Earth years. Earth, also for convenient reference, is a planet that does not yet exist. What will the name of this young troll be? Enter name. You enter something predictably derogatory and this guy gets fed up with your shenanigans in record time. This guy has a lot of troll pals and their adventures are going to be quite extensive and convoluted to an even greater, de greater degree than one perhaps may be accustomed. He thinks that if you think that we have time to drag out every little gag and expected pattern along the way, you've got something, another thing coming. He thinks you should cram that sobering understanding in your chitinous windhole and tamp it down hard with your ugly, stupid-looking cartilage nub. Try again. Your name is Carcad Vantus. As was previously mentioned, it is your wriggling day, which is barely even worth mentioning. It is an anniversary, if anything, to lament the faults of your existence, of which there are assuredly plenty. Equally plenty, and somewhat related to that topic, are your interests. You have a passion for ridiculously terrible movies and rom-coms. You should really be embarrassed for liking this dreadful cinema, but for some reason you are not. You like to program computers, but you are notoriously pretty awful at it. Your programs invariably, invariably damage the machines on which they are executed, which is just as well, since you like to believe you specialize in computer viruses. When you mature, you aspire to join the ranks of the most lethal members of your society. The thresh, the thresh accusioners. You like to practice with your really cool sickle, but just wind up looking like kind of a doofus by yourself in your room. You like to chat with some of your other troll pals, most of which drive you batshit up the fucking belfry. You have been trying out a new chat client beta called Trollian, and you are not really sure what you think about it yet. Your troll tag is Carcino Geneticist, and you speak in a matter that is almost exclusively ornery all the time. Later, you will play a game with five other friends and go on a big adventure with them. This game, for convenient reference, is a game that does not exist yet, but it will soon. What will you do? Carcats, examine slimy purple pod. It is your recuperacoon, full of nourishing sober slime. Every young troll enjoys the cozy embrace of such a vessel each night. And the relaxing ooze helps assuage those terrible visions of blood and carnage that plague the dark subconscious of your species. It is so inviting. A few minutes couldn't hurt. Carcat, get in. Okay, this sure is cozy and all, but you can't be napping all day like a chump. Damn it, you're a busy guy. You are sort of a big deal. Goddamn slime, now you have to change your clothes too. What were you thinking? Luckily, all your clothes are the same. Trolls think fashion is stupid. Carcat, examine movie posters. Okay, it's time to get serious here. Sweet troll Jigus. Let's get real and get down to some major business. You space out and get caught up reading the titles of the films for about five minutes. Wow, these movies are great. You don't care what anyone says. Pure magic. Is that... Is that John Cusack? The thing that most people don't realize is that John Cusack is a universal constant. So true. This movie... Okay, this one you have a hard time defending, but still, it is so good. The best thing about it is how Troll Sandler doesn't make you want to punch anything. Like, nothing at all. Really hard or anything. Carcat, catch a log sickle. You grab your trusty sickle with your encryption modus. To retrieve it, you'll need to hack the code to open the card vault left behind. This will obviously prove to be a completely ridiculous and untenable way of managing an inventory. It leads to a great many follies. 
Later on, you would swap your modus with your hacker friend, a guy who, unlike you, happens to be competent with programming. It would only make sense. But for the same, for the time being, it makes your life kind of a nightmare. There are so many stupid things that happen because of this modus. So many. You just have no idea. Carcat, take Cardfall. God damn it! You hear some unhappy grumbling through the hole below. This was not the coolest thing you could have done just now. Carcat, examine large black book. You make quite sure not to capture log it, and simply pick it up and read it. ATH, a handbook for the imminently deceased. Chapter 1, prepare your ATH file, dig your grave. ATH this, additional graves, execute null. This, die. A bone to pick. For death begins with life's first breath, and life begins at touch of death. Troll Will Smith. I think it's it is a thick like till death. What? I, th I think it's supposed to be till death, like till the ah, but whatever. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a thick programming uh, manual <laughs> called Till Death: A Handbook for the Imminently Deceased. Till death is an insufferable language to work with. Its logic is composed of nothing but infinite loops. Or at best, loops of effectively interminable construction. The above page is the intro section documents. The simple possible, the simplest possible till death code structure. Any code deviating from this basic structure will not compile. You have a whole bunch of code samples you've been messing around with on your computer. It's been frustrating at best and debilitating your to your machine at worst. Carcat, leave your room. You step outside your respite block onto one of your hive's numerous extraterrestrial landing slats. You were allowed to design this hive when you were young, after you emerged victorious from your trials deep in the brooding caverns. You have lived here with your custodian ever since. It's almost as if your people have placed great culture importance on teaching children to become architecturally adept while very young. It has been this way since ancient time. No one seems to know why that is. Getting to build your own hive at a young age using whatever meandering design you chose likely has left you jaded to the notion of customizing your abode. You certainly wouldn't get all that worked up about a game that happens to allow you to do such a thing. At least, not for that reason. Carcat, examine neighborhood. Hive bent. The lawn rings are empty. Blood skims the void in your porous cranial plate, as if grazing the hollow of a threshed stem. Or say, an abandoned cocoon. A sour note is produced. It's the one agitation plays to make its audience squirm. It is your sixth wriggling day. It has with all five preceding a blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Look. You don't have time for fancy poetry. It's almost as useless. It's almost as useless as those arm swing, arm swing flappy thingies on the mailboxes. Assuming you even knew what those are, which you don't. Trolls don't have mail. Mail is almost as useless as poetry to them. Poetry is a swing arm flappy dealy of words, and mail is the red tilty lever doodad of giving people shit. Frankly, you don't know about things skimming voids or grazing hollows or whatever. You've got ambition. You were meant to be a big shot, to be in charge of something ho huge and totally important, and to be totally ruthless about it. You just haven't found the dominion in which you were destined for greatness yet, or even a vague concept of it. You haven't found your purpose, but you will tonight. You stew in your own impotent aggravation in the cool dusk breeze. During the dark seasons, it remains dusk for most of the day. It can stay dark for many by lunar perigrees at a time, but even if it didn't, you would still have this feeling. You have a feeling it's going to be a long night. Carcat, go back inside. Take a nap. Eat a sneakers. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I you head back into your block and hit up your computer station. No word from any of your loudmouth pals. No news is good news. Sweet music to your auricular sponge cloth. Carcat, check out magazine. Game Grub. Yeah. It's the latest issue of Game yeah. Grub. This one appears to boast about exclusive leaks. They all boast about that. Not even really sure what it means. That's okay. definitely a leak. The Thresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> It is the DVD of one of your favorite series, The Thresh Prince of Bel Air. It's about a green th thresh executioner cadet who sasses up the blue bloods in his flay squad pretty good. Their blood is literally blue. Lousy snobs. But Troll Will Smith shows them how to loosen up 
he is pretty much your hero. Troll TV shows have shorter titles than troll movies because TV is a much newer form of media in their society. Which is a good thing because it would be pretty hard to make this funny joke otherwise. Car cat, get down to business on computer. Okay, enough messing around. Time to get some work done. Oh, maybe a little programming or oh god. Oh god, we have to choose two voice actors for this now. Oh, I want to do this with so badly. If you choose that installing this new beta chat client would open the floodgates, all your moron friends are going to be hounding you relentlessly. Now that they not that they needed an excuse before. You wonder what this chump wants. Car cat. Answer Ooh. troll. Who's okay. doing Gamzee? Uh, All right. Gamzee. Please, let me be. Okay, uh, let's get down to business. Yeah. Not John is doing Gamzee. Uh, Shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing Car Cat, yeah. And I'm busy. <laughs> Chocolate Wee was doing Car Cat. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, oh, shit! I'm surprised I'm that I can't do Gamzee ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> okay, All right, okay. John. Johnny. Okay. What is up, my inverted brother? What in the sweet almighty ta train oh, no. tank crafting fuck do you want? Not a motherfucking thing, bro. Other than uh, other than I'll be checking out how my best motherfucking friend is at yo. I really can't stand you, and I hate how you type. This is just bothers me so much. Have I mentioned that? You say pretty much every time we talk, yeah. But, uh, I don't have to. <laughs> uh, see? <laughs> but I mean, man, this feels so motherfucking unnatural and shit. You just gotta be going with the feels, right? At where your hearts have been, you know, best friend? <laughs> Fuck, I hate this. <laughs> Me, I love you. This is why I want to be him. <laughs> I wonder what kind of shitty thing I did to deserve such an awful best friend. Or maybe what terrible thing I'm going to do and get punished for in advance. What maybe I'm just you? like, fr wait. <laughs> what? Parents are coming in to check out. What? I've been oh. yelling. <laughs> you want me to do that in my- you want me to be car cat? No! No, you, 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 you've been rolled to do it. You have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is your job now. Our Lord and Savior, the Wheel of Names. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, maybe I'm just over with. Way. Bro. Maybe I'm just like primitively the worst fucking piece of trash who ever lived and don't ever know it. But hey, look. Your French is your friendship is exhibit a a I exhibit, exhibit a is exhibit a I guess sorry. It's, it's such right. a beautiful thing. This troll disease called friendship. Friendship isn't a disease, shit sponge. It's like a mistake, a big joke of nature. It's a miracle. Oh no! Don't don't start with the miracles again. Man, everywhere I look. All I see is motherfucking miracles. It's so spiritual. All these miracles and shit. Okay, like, just be talking this fucking tits bottle of Faygo. I just cracked up both of And how it's being all, like, hissing and shit. Motherfucking hissing, man. Who went all and told it to do that? How would I even do that? It's crazy. It's a miracle. It's carbonation, you ignorant <laughs> douche. Try getting school fed some sometime instead of some of slurping down that weird sw swill all day and and fondling your stupid horns. And fondling. Sorry. No, no, bro. I don't even. I, I don't want to know. Don't even tell me. No, this shit just steals up all the fucking magic from my miracles like a motherfucking thief, and that ain't cool. The only miracle that you like that dis that disgusting sludge, where do you even get that stuff? It's also a miracle how you dress like an imbecile and are basically the stupidest asshole I've ever known. Actually, you're right. There are miracle miracles everywhere. I've been a fool. See, man, I'm straight up telling you, miracle. It's like, all oh, right, computers, right? What the fuck? Miracles is what? Fuck you. Fuck you for letting me- for me just reading that. 
Anyway, what's up with your bad self? For series here. Isn't something big all going down? What? I've heard something big is going all down. Just all telling me about what motherfucking is up and all about. I'll be right back. Oh. Um. 